Hi guys, I'm Exactcast and welcome back to another episode of Apple CEO. Um, we are, uh, in the last episode, we did a little bit of staffing work. Um, what we did is we removed our terminals and I think that's a much better setup. The old terminal thing really doesn't work that well. Um, things are generally progressing. We've added some uh, nearby bathrooms for staff, um, which should help the situation a little bit. Let me quickly have a look. Did I, in fact, make it staff zoned? Um, I believe um, I've selected them as, uh, as staff only. Yeah, but what I will also do is I'll probably just put a little, little slither of staff zone in the door. So, uh, so we make sure that they're only used by, um, yeah, this, this one I've actually done that. Um, just make sure they're only used by staff. Okay, all good, all good. Um, there's tons for us to still do um, in terms of all of this. Um, there's been some comments around the fact that I probably can address some additional or get some additional contracts just to make sure that um, we're using this a little bit more. Um, every now and again, I do see a little bit of a blip here, but that's okay, as long as it's just one or two um, as someone is switching out. And we can probably do another round of staff hiring, especially in the security space. Oh, there's plenty of uh, pretty good ones um, that we can hire. Well, let's just hire all the good ones, reject these ones, and see. make sure that we uh, continue to have enough staff on hand for the various things that we're trying to do. Now, one of the things I did want to have a look at after I've had a look at what the issue is over here, but stuff that's a little bit lighter running over here um, in terms of boardings. It's not the end of the world, but it is it's way later than I would like. Why is this guy struggling so tremendously to get out? Oh, it's pushed back. It just waited for that. Um, everything here is fine. It should be pushing back as well. Yeah, that's pushed back already. Now going to the gate. Uh, I think everything is kind of running pretty smoothly. Uh, we'll have a look at some of these things. I think we're doing a pretty decent job with some of this. Um, we do have to keep an eye on the catering and so on. Why is this guy saying there's some issues with it? People are already kind of through there. It's on the route. A scheduled check-in desk for the stand is currently blocked by another flight. Um, I think it's a big deal, is it? A7. How many check-in desks do I have for this? Only these, right? I don't think it's, uh, it's a super big deal. All of these chick. Why is this chicken desk not doing anything? Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on on certain things. This guy is struggling to get somewhere. Um, all in all, let's uh, let's. That's okay. I think that's not. Ooh, what's going on over here? Something's been delayed. Why is that? Was it just a delayed arrival? Why has this guy been so heavily delayed? That is, uh, is not at all great, is it? We'll speed things along. Yeah, that's certainly not good. Even this one. Okay, that actually might come back. It won't be the end of the world. That's already an hour late. Yeah, so not sure why that's happened. Anyway, what I wanted to do, have a quick look at now is just, um, check in with regards to contracts. What is going on here? Why is that? Yeah, anyway, that's showing up a little bit better now. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a quick look at our... Oh, it was this, I think, that, that caused that. Let's have a look at our quick uh, our contract. So we have a number of accepted contracts and we can um, um, re-look at it. So one thing that did happen is someone mentioned in the comments that we should see about a fuel supplier that can actually deliver more fuel per delivery. So this is 400,000 liters per delivery. If I said I wanted to have a look at um, a different contract, now let's not... Keep doing that. A different contract for for fuel, right? Fuel and go is telling me eight hundred thousand. So that's quite a little bit more um, than the existing one. So what do we do? If I just let's just double check fuel only. So we are off. They're not airlines, but aviation fuel suppliers. So mix avi fuel can give eight hundred thousand. They can do two hundred thousand, and zip fuel can do two hundred thousand. And fuel and go can do 800,000. So we're pretty decent on this. Did I want fuel for um, uh, 0.14 per liter? 
1.15 per liter. What am I currently paying? No, let's not delay that. What am I currently paying? Uh, 0.18. Well, let's cancel this contract. Thank you. And now I'd like to add a new contract and let's get fuel and go that can bring us 800,000 at a better rate. So let's sign fuel and go, please. I think that was, yeah, that's the, the very best for us. So that should um, hopefully mean that we can get a few more things delivered. Now, if we go to the, yeah, every fuel, oh, it's actually pretty high. Now, if we go to the, back to contracts on, on offer and we go to all, uh, actually to sign contracts. Now here, I would like to have a look at what we can do. Conway Catering um, is suggesting we could renegotiate Edwards Bay. So let's have a quick look at some of these these guys. So let's go to Edwards Bay. They've got five um, negotiation points. Ooh, it's because of the lounge? Sign contract with business. Ah, let's have a quick look at this. That's because of the lounge. They don't have anything for us. Coast to coast lounge. So these, uh, these are lounge. Signed contract with business. Which business? It's interesting. Not too sure how that works. But anyway, these guys that have their own lounges, we can most certainly start negotiating a little bit more aggressively. I'm quite keen on increasing that. So if we do that five points there... And we throw in a couple more from our side. Will we get that negotiated? 86% chance of getting that, that agreed. Let's send that offer. It's accepted. Awesome. That's awesome. So now we've got a pretty good deal um, on flights with Edwards Bay, right? That flight. Uh, so that's 7, 8. That's, oh, it's not that much better, to be honest. Let's negotiate this guy. Um... If we pop it up a little bit. Reasonable. Yeah, well, let's try it. Let's see if these work. Excellent. So they're kind of accepting at the 86 uh, mark there. That's pretty good. Now, let's see um, some of these other guys. Let's, yeah, well, let's, let's just go with, with uh, have a look at all of them. These are more small flights. Trinity, I think, has a, has a number of big flights. So let's try and negotiate that. Um, something like that. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can keep getting these accepted. Nice. So we're getting more and more per flight each time that we do that. Forest Air, we can... Well, let's come back to Forest Air. Let's have a look at Air Strada. Air Strada needs... Okay, we come back once we've... Uh, and Allure... Uh, let's negotiate a lure. Whoa. Oh, well, this is for the large ones. We haven't even started talking about the large ones yet. Uh, let's see. I really don't like us doing that. We do something like this, get a reasonable in there, send the offer. Accepted. I like it. So that's a pretty good deal now on Allure for us. Um, anything else we can do? Uh, let's uh, let's let's save a few items there. What is this? Why is this signed contract with business? No idea why some of them get it and others don't. But anyway, that's looking pretty good. Wonder if we can re-sign some of these um, if they if they keep making good money. Anyway, let's uh, let's go get back into the game. See what's going on now. Let's see. Let's accept accept this. I believe we um, we'll have to anyway. Okay. So what is this weight class um, medium? So we would want to bring it into that slot over there. So please bring it in. Air Strada. We'll pick that up. Thank you. I hate that it always um, reduces the speed. Okay. So that guy is heading on out. Where is it? Oh, it's going to this one. Oh, it's already there. My goodness. That's not ideal. Ah, oh, we certainly need to, um, to bring some paths through here. Okay, what I'll do is let's quickly um, uh, get some of these things built. Okay. And because we've got that built, I may as well just run our, our little service... All the way through there. And up to the... Um,
and up to this point there. I think that's that's about right. Right? That'll that'll kinda do do the trick for us. So now we can actually get the the fire truck out there. It'll take a little bit of time, but we can still get it out there. No problems. Uh no, let's not uh, do any of this. What's going on over here? Only got the one that's problematic over here right now. And we'll come back and have a look at some of these efficiencies. What I do want to do quickly is see about filling up um, the rest of these lounges. We certainly need an allure. Um, some of you have mentioned that you need bathrooms. And so what I can do is I can actually put some bathrooms in here um, as we do it. And we'll put a shop in the middle and then we do again. So um, like we've done with this one, that's basically the, the plan, right? Um, the, so that one doesn't have a bathroom, but these do have bathrooms, and that's that's pretty cool. So we'll keep doing we'll keep doing a bit of that. So let's um, let's get a couple more lounges in here. Allure certainly needs one. No, not Allure. Um, Air Strada certainly needs one, and we can then probably sign an extra contract or, or two as well and get more lounges in place. So let's uh, let's start off with doing the lounge thing a little bit. So if I if I do that. And we'll do... I'm actually quite comfortable with the lounge there. And the lounge there. And that, that should work pretty well. And then we can do... A lounge on this side. We'll, we'll come back to that later. We probably don't need all of those lounges. Let's, uh, let's get a few um, walls in place. So we'll do a wall there. A wall there will probably run something through there we'll run a wall in this way there and there and uh, right there okay so now we just need a few doors so that uh, it can stop flashing at me like that uh, middle of the road there is probably good thank you middle of the road somewhere like that I think is also okay yeah that should be okay yeah, that's okay. Let's leave it there. Let's get the um, the medium ones. How did I do it on that side? Uh, we'll just do we'll just do a bit of copy and pasting, I think, um, in this instance. We'll do a bit of this. Similarly, we'll uh, do a bit of that. Uh, no, don't do that. That's not great. Want it there, and we'll put the the wall back in place. Okay, nice. So now. With that in mind, I will um, I will do some copying pasting. So let's do that. We'll start it off with these guys. Okay, we'll do a bit of this, and we'll pop it in there, and we will pop it in here. Awesome, good stuff. Um, that will be male and open. This will be female and open. This will be male and open, and this will be female and open. Oh, and open. Good. Okay, so now I've got some bathrooms for our lounges. They're shared between lounges. Um, okay, now how can I copy and paste some lounge stuff here? I want to do what I've done here for the most part. So let's see if I if I go ahead and copy some of that. That actually works reasonably well, I think. We'll do that. There we go. Now I've got a lounge going on over there. Ooh, I definitely need to get rid of the of that little piece there. So let's. How do I get rid of it? Um. That was the door, but I've got rid of the other one as well. So let's get the um, the door back. Come on, all back and over there, nice. And I would like to also provide some decorations. This will be the Air Strada lounge for us. Just pop it in there and we will make this Air Strada. And then we'll go back to see how quickly they actually um, get us to do some stuff. Let's open the room. Nice, 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 nice. So we'll get some staff to come on over here. We will need to provide some different styles of flooring just so, much, so it looks a little nicer. Let's do a little something like that, I think. Yeah, that's okay. And we'll do some pretty basic carpeting. So it's, it's a horrendous color. But anyway, that'll work. 
And what we'll do is we will also get some bathroom tiles in here. Yeah, so the, it's it's a little bit of micromanagement with the um, with the bathrooms and the likes, or in the flooring specifically, I think. We'll do a bit of that. That's all good. And what we can also do is get a couple of windows in place. Um, about this way, I think. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Similarly on this side, that should do nicely and... Yeah, there we go. That those should all work pretty well. Excellent. So that is Strada up and running. So if I go back to the contracts tab, not off its contracts, Air Strada now. I wonder how long it'll take for this thing to reflect. Give me some extra points in there. Would be nice if that could happen. We probably need some additional staff at some point. What's going on over here? Um, so it seems on the A gates we have not enough. Um, so these are tasking this way. So yeah, these these six stands over there is not not seemingly not enough. Going on down there, could we add a couple more in there? I am fairly interested in expanding that a little bit. Even though we have some of these that are completely open. Yeah, if we do an extra two, it might it might work out a little bit more. Or we could even do um, a couple of of them in there somewhere. I don't know. We could we could find well, or we could even then do another little round up here. We could see they, there's definitely um, some options for us to do something slightly different if we do need to um, get this going. Yeah, the A gates definitely has a problem. So let's um. Let's see about expanding it. If I just wanted to add an extra piece over here, so let's get um, let's get rid of this. Um, I also wanted to uh, get rid of that. And if I add a couple of additional check-in desks, like so, yeah, I think that won't be too awkward if we do that. Um, and now we go down, so let's let's quickly, yeah, yeah, we need to fix it, I know, I know. Let's go down over there. What happens if we do that? That should work no problems, right? Okay, so we'll do that, get ourselves a little bit of this stuff, yeah. There we go, and we'll go downstairs, and we will from here... Um, There we go, and we'll get rid of that. So hopefully that means um, that should work a little bit better now. Uh, I do believe I'll need to assign it to baggage bays, though. Uh, this one over there, thank you. So hopefully um, we've resolved some of those issues. Let's uh, let's quickly get our um, our decorations back in place here. Something like that. That should help. And what we can also do is. Give ourselves a little bit more um, queuing space there. Uh, that's already done. Let's just assign it here. And it's that one, that one. Um, interesting, interesting. Let's try that again. So it goes up to the edge there. So what did I do? Oh, actually... I, uh, I forgot to add a little bit of room in there. Uh, anyway, we'll come back to that if we need to. <laughs> For the time being, it's okay. It's not quite symmetrical, so it might bug me and I might go, might go back to it. Um, let's copy and paste a few more of these things. I think that, that one as such should be able to copy. So let's grab this stuff over here. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, what I will do, however, is um, clear some of these out. Clear that one out. That's good. Um, get some new chairs going in here somewhere. If I can grab some. There you go. 
it'll work. Uh, what um, airline will this be? I'll have to have a bit of a look. Ooh, that's quite interesting. It's a little offset there. Um, no, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we will need to check which airline we want to uh, give this to. So let's go back to our contracts. And if we come back in here, accepted contracts, I believe Skyfly doesn't have one. Airstrada is slowly picking up, but let's get one for Skyfly as well. So this could be Skyfly. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll provide some different styles of flooring over here. Uh, let's do let's do a little something like this. Just to make it of slightly more interest there. Ooh, that side. Just thinking we can probably fix that through there as well. Um, let's do that and then some other types of flooring for the rest of it. Maybe some of this stuff. We do that up there. Down there and in there. Yeah, how does that work? That works pretty well. This is Skyfly. So we can grab the decorations, get ourselves a bit of a Skyfly going on there, and we'll do that. Nice Skyfly lounge. Access right there. All good. Don't refuse that stop. Uh, now, if we pop back in here, what are we struggling with? Um, again, uh, a flight without a little stand. Yeah, that's okay. And these guys are doing what? No, the rest of it's kind of working. Moving through things through at pretty reasonable rate. Um, do we need more vehicles here in the cleaning cleaning style of things, or did these just not want that service? I think there's a fair bit of uh, not wanting that service um, that's that's in, in play. Guy's late, but it's got out fairly effectively. That guy should be moving out, taxiing. Yeah, no problems. So we're pretty efficient through here. Some of these may need to get a little bit more. So we'll get a few more ramp agents i think so let's go staffing um if we want to add some ramp agents please we'll hire that one we'll hire this one we'll hire that one we'll reject a few there we go hopefully the additional ramp agents helps things move uh, move along a little bit um i think we are doing pretty well at the moment oh yeah absolutely skyfly is loving their Loving their stuff there, forest, air, coast to coast, allure, all pretty good. Um, yeah, we've got a staff room over here, which we could expand a little bit. It could be a bigger staff room if we wanted to. Um, let's, uh, let's make sure we continue to do the same thing over here and finish off this section. That's kind of my plan, is just making sure we're finishing off this section. Right through there, all good, and there and there. I should do the trick. Thank you very much. Uh, two more lounges. Well, we'll need additional contracts if we want more lounges, I think. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, it's probably a bit of an overuse of, of lounge space here. I don't necessarily think we need that many lounges, but anyway, we'll... We'll probably add a little extra um, shop component right at the end on this side. Uh, actually, let's start it off with the kind of lounge setup here. So if we do... Do something like that. There we go. That should do, do the trick. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. We'll do this through there and we'll get a couple of doorways in place. One there and one there maybe. Yeah, all good. Uh, let's copy and paste some more um, of these guys. Let's get our bathrooms in place. There we go. And this will be, yet again, a male bathroom. There's a fair bit of micromanagement in, in, uh, in some of these things going on here. Now, let's get some flooring going on. I do hate the fact that I need to do all the flooring. Uh, okay, so we've got something going on. Let's see. We'll get a flight to come in. This is a small one. So we'll get it to come in straight over there. Thank you. Make your move. Come on in. Okay. Okay, waiting for it to come in. I'm probably this one. No, 
No stopping. Maybe that one. What kind of emergency is this that we're talking of? In-flight security emergency. Oh, we're still waiting on it. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Edwards Bay. Expecting uh, required airport police car assistance. So now the police is there. What are they doing? Excellent. They're grabbing someone. Airport police. Okay, so they're grabbing a passenger. Okay, step one is resolved. So they're taking him out. Now I do wonder if this guy is just going to go and take off again. I believe so. Yeah, just taking off. That's all that's going to happen there. What is this stand? This is a GA stand? My goodness. I think that would have worked. We should have been able to do that. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, how much do we have here? Oof. Oh, quite interesting. Yeah, we do need... Yeah, this, look at all of these stands that are empty. Let's uh, let's grab ourselves a few more contracts. I think that'll that'll do. So let's get... Um, a few more contracts going. Havana, Maple Stripe. Which are we gonna? Which are we gonna do? Tulip, Crown Airlines. Let's go with Crown Airlines. Swiftly is as well a good one. Zoom. There's so many. So let's uh, let's accept Zoom, and let's accept Crown, and we'll get them going. Ramp Agent Servicing is saying there's a bit of an issue there. Okay. Let's um, now we've got two more that we can uh, that we can go on with here. So let's copy a couple of these things. Is this gonna be? About the right, if we try and if we try and do that, ooh, that's starting to get a little bit out of hand. Let's uh, let's let's not do that one. Let's copy the other one instead. We copy this one instead. Is that gonna work? Pretty interesting. But I think that'll work fairly well, like so. We just need to, and that's even okay. We need to do is get rid of that one. We needed to get rid of that anyway. Um, we certainly can add some more chairs on that side. Let's grab a few more. Actually works pretty well. Uh, we need some slightly enhanced flooring, I think. Uh, let's just go back to um, something like this over here. And then we'll grab maybe like a green a green flooring there. Yeah, the green is uh, is really over the top as well. But anyway, that should do the trick. Uh, this needs to become one of our new airlines that so we've had added Zoom to the mix. So we'll get a Zoom um, one over there. So this becomes Zoom and open for business. We probably need more staff for that also. Um, we've added yet another one. So let's get that one up and running too. Let's copy, I think let's copy the same thing. Uh, no, that one won't actually work. Now we will have to copy on this side. So let's make sure to copy over there. That actually works really nicely. We'll do that. We will demolish that one there. And the next one that we need to grab is um, Crown. Crown Airlines. There we go. We will... A little something like this. There we go. I think that, that's quite good. And then, as a bit of a flooring situation, maybe in this one we'll we'll grab something a little bit more critical like that. That's really dark. Okay, but that's okay. I think that'll that'll do. That kind of mixes with that really well. So let's just make sure to call this one Crown Airlines. There we go. And yeah, we don't need to close it. There we go. So Crown now has one too. That's awesome. We probably need some additional um, passengers, airline staff, people. Ooh, we'll grab a couple of extra good ramp agents and reject a few more. Oops. And we will need passenger service agents. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that's okay. We'll reject the rest of these. That was okay. We'll reject that one too. Okay, all good. That's looking pretty good. We're again having shortage of uh, security guards over here. Where is our closest staff room? We may need um, a staff room closer by. This is uh, closed out, so we'll have to fix that again at some point. Um, are we really that low? The desk requires additional staff to operate. 
Let's see about grabbing even more staff. Passenger service. There we go. There we go. There we go. Reject, reject. Uh, oh, reject the wrong one there. Yeah, reject that one. Uh, now, if we go to staff overview, passenger service, let's do a couple of training rounds. Um, so someone who's not quite that good yet. We'll get our training uh, up a few levels, make sure that we've got our people quite happy. Um, uh, our, our passengers, so that they uh, are dealing with well-trained staff members. That's pretty good. I don't mind that. Every time you train them, you pay them more as well. Interesting. There we go. So that's all good. So that should be... Ooh. Okay, so it's refiltering, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. This is why you don't have to want to hire them too poorly, because otherwise you, you get them max trained before they reach a, pre, a reasonable a reasonable working grade. There we go. See, max trained. This is the difference in, in what happens there. Okay, that should be all good. All of this is max trained. Looking good. So hopefully people are having a, a nice time. What's going on over here? Everything here seems to be quite reasonable. These are getting done pretty far out. So it's just about boarding and, and pushing off and, and these kind of things. So we may have to have a look at some of the vehicles we have available. And that is something that we will do in the next episode. Um, add more contracts? Maybe. Maybe. Let's have a quick look over here. We seem to have a reasonable amount of space available, actually. Where are my flights? There's so many flights that's not actually happening. Yeah, plenty more contracts. More contracts, more lounges, and then we'll finish this one off. Um, and then we'll start seeing whether we can... Yeah, we need more flights in here. And then we'll start um, closing out that one. That's looking pretty good. Um, ooh. This one uh, kind of got lost a little bit. Can I... What's going to happen? Let's go travel shop. Sign travel shop, please. What? I just signed it. How can you say three days since you left? I just signed it. Something's funny. Something's funny. Guys, okay. I will leave it there. I will see you in the next episode. Um, as we continue to finish this out. Um, add more um, flights to the roster. And uh, try and work on efficiency a little bit before we um, do the last little section um, of the airport over here. Okay, if you've enjoyed it, as always, hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.